Hi folks, Joe Rossi, eh, so you tried to write a drum chart in finale, eh, what is it, it's a complicated, relax, <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to set a percussion layout, easy, let's get started. First, why we should set a percussion layout? Because it's much more simple to write a drum chart if you use a specific set of symbols. Otherwise, you should set them manually and believe me, it's a huge waste of time. Besides this, a percussion layout is ready for MIDI and you can easily play your chart through a MIDI device, for example, the one already included in Finale. These are the symbols commonly used by professional arrangers. Bass drum, floor tom, snare drum, high tom, high hat with foot, close high hat, open high hat, right symbol, crash symbol. This is another way to write crash. Actually, I prefer this one, much more clear. Ghost note cross stick, um, bossa nova sound. These are some optional symbols which you might use for a transcription. Second tone, second floor tone. You might want to add a little more depending on the drum set of your favorite drummer. For example, for a Terry Bozio solo, you certainly need 2000 different symbols. If you only have to write an arrangement, I recommend to be simple and stay stick with these symbols. These ones. Professional arrangers just write simple charts and there must be a reason. So, how can we set this percussion layout? Let's go to Window. Score Manager. instrument list, notation style, set it on percussion, and then click settings. Here we have a lot of options, but you may want to create your own setting. This is one I've created for you. Let's take a look. You can add any symbol, change the position on the stave here, change the note head, and etc. etc. I suggest to use a standard note head for drums, like bass, uh, bass drum, or tom, and X head for cymbals. Okay, please do not use any triangle, square, or mysterious symbol. Okay. You can also switch from a set to another. For example, that's the typical uh, set currently used in Dante Agostini methods. but I never seen it in professional scores and actually it's not that practical. So let's go back to the previous one. Oh, home sweet home. Now we can have a go. Let's write a simple groove.
as you can see it's quite easy I guess now you are ready for writing your drone chart okay enjoy it okay and that was it if you have enjoyed the video please give a like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell so you can stay tuned bye bye see you on the next episode